Hello everybody, my name is Pizza Hunter Brennan, and welcome back to another episode of Optic Factions here on the OpticCraft.tv server. Guys, I have missed you all so much. Honestly, I, I, you, you know what's coming. It's, it, it's explanation time, and it'll take like one or two minutes. If you guys don't want to hear it, feel free, skip the introduction, get into the actual point of the episode. But to intro it off, I just want to say, guys, I'm so sorry for dipping out on Factions for you all. I know it's been, like, it's been about two weeks since our last episode. No, I have not quit the series. Nade's not quit the series either. He'll be hopping on with me in this episode very, very shortly. I think he's doing his own separate intro as well because we got a lot of stuff to talk about. But uh, just got to be honest with you all. Over the past like week or so, I've been in like, well, actually, I should say like week and a half, pretty much for the majority of while Factions has kind of been on its, uh, I don't know, hiatus, you could say. I've been in a little bit of a funk personally, and that's no excuse. I should still be able to make Factions videos and keep up with that content, but there's just been something that's driving me away from it for a little while, but I I woke up this morning, you know, I took some time over the past couple days to stay away from that funk, and uh, I'm better now. Honestly, I'm a lot better, and I'm feeling better about getting back into factions right now, and I, I feel like, honestly, like I said, I love you guys very much. There is no excuse for any of this sort of thing, and uh, really, there, you know, what's in the past is in the past. What's in the future is obviously what's to hold right now. Nate and I are going to be returning the series to buy daily, along with all the other content on our channel. At least I think Nate is going to. I know, I know, I will be, and uh, I think we'll also have to do some ones in a little bit daily here and there to kind of make up for the fact that I've been away from it for so long. But yeah, that's the introduction that we've done. Let's go ahead and get to the actual video because I have got some sick stuff to show you guys. First off, just a moment. Can we just talk about how freaking gorgeous this Christmas edition of uh, Optic Gaming is? Like, honestly, I love this lobby. It looks so beautiful. The snowflakes in the sky, the red and green everywhere, the snowmen around here. Now, the real question is, though, is it Frosty the snowman or is it Olaf in today's day and age? I think it's still Frosty. I don't think anything could ever replace Frosty, but I don't know. Olaf's a pretty handsome dude. If anything, that's Frosty, and that's that, I'm saying that's Olaf, that's Frosty, because I'm pretty sure... I think Olaf was a pretty short guy, wasn't he? I think so. I, I'm off topic. Now, a lot of things have actually gone down in the time that Nate and I have been away from here. And some of you may recognize this little place that we're in. Some of you may not. It's Nate's little, like, shuriken farm, I should say. But one of the things that happened during the time of us being away was, you guys know our good old faction allies, uh, Allegiance. They actually disbanded. The Allegiance is literally straight up gone. And uh, when we heard that over Twitter, we were devastated. We're like, oh my gosh, like literally that was, these guys were our allies. They're like our main guys. And now they're gone. We were like, what are we going to do? And uh, apparently the reason they left was just because of like, I don't know, problems or something. I thought they moved over to Jurassic, which I think they did. Um, but they had a lot of issues. They had like insiders or whatever. They had a lot of junk going around. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn down my sound a little bit and turn down uh, blocks so I can actually harvest up some of the shuriken while we're talking here but they had actually a lot of issues but on the other end of that though Nate and I actually hopped on yesterday to record this episode like we're still kind of half and half or whatever uh with getting this episode done and uh there's a new faction called Eternity which if you guys have seen in our chat pop up once or twice during this recording we're actually allied with them now now Eternity is apparently filled with a lot of the guys from Allegiance more the OG guys from the server and it's a little bit crazy because like I said Allegiance actually had some issues where they were getting insided a ton and a lot of drama went down, but we're now members of Eternity, or not members of, but we're allied with Eternity now. So if you go ahead and take a look at uh, FF, the Optic Hut, and look there, we're now allied to Princess, which I, who I don't think are on very much, and Eternity. So we've got a little bit more work to do there, and uh, I just realized that Kara actually isn't in our faction anymore, so we're going to need to get her back to get a little bit more power in this. But uh, yeah, so basically, new allies now, and uh, they actually went ahead, if you take a look over here too, they actually gifted us with an expansion our sure can farm a little bit have fun grinding bad skin and good skin i love the names too these are some of the people from the faction or at least a couple of them that have kind of just been here and there these are awesome guys by the way we're probably going to be hopping in the team speak with them uh relatively shortly to introduce them to like you know everyone in here even though they should be familiar faces for the most part to people that are watching on the channel so it's actually really, really nice. Uh, so that's one of the things that have happened in the past little while. Now, on the other half of it here, just because we've been away from a server for a little while does not mean that the entire team behind this honestly amazing server has not been just busting their ass and working, including us. We've been here and there with, you know, feedback on stuff, and we've actually gone ahead and released our first brand new update. Well, actually, not the first. We've had a major one while we've been on before, but this is our second newest, and uh, honestly, I would say... 
probably our biggest update to date and that is the new Christmas update now I'm gonna go ahead and leave a lot more details down in the description you guys can click that top link there it'll tell you all about the new update and stuff but honestly it adds a lot more diversity to the server because I had mentioned before that we were planning on getting a lot of custom stuff added in while not really straying too far away from vanilla so if you go ahead and take a look here this is kind of one example that I want to give if I have it somewhere along here in fact I think I put it over in a chest here real fast here we actually one of the things that we have now oh god well I'm on fire so that's one of the things that we have is on fire slimes you can buy those from a shop one thing that we now have are custom enchants so if you take a look right here if you look we have a pickaxe that has shockwave one check this out okay you ready for this ready and honestly like this is just one of the things that we have on the server when it comes to these sorts of things honestly it's one of the coolest things that i think we've added so we have custom enchants now we also have these new things called uh charms which kind of work like uh i guess you could say pets in crazy craft but not necessarily the same thing they're like passive abilities because they're not pretty much straight pets you know they don't just hop, pop into your inventory and give you like a new ability it's kind of like uh, a passive thing where you know you'll click it once and it'll do something or some of them will give like a little bit of a buff over time it's actually pretty cool but to unlock them you actually need to use these new things that we have implemented as well the other half of the update called crates which we have two things here i'm sure you guys are very familiar with it but we now have our own styling of it we have a lucky crate and an epic crate now these two guys right here i'm gonna go ahead and open some of them right now these things are so freaking cool and they're actually how you get a lot of the custom enchants and uh custom charms so let's go ahead and just open them in right now we got our epic crates and we got our lucky crates let's just launch it in see what we can get here so how the crates work is first off it sends you into a very dark realm so your main focus is just everywhere on the screen and if you take took a look there you had a bunch of items that were pretty much just like everywhere on there that is what you have the option of being able to get here now if you take a look on the screen here we have a lot of paints now you just pick a paint like let's do the bottom uh middle one right here and then you get your random item which to us was a fishing rod which uh that's probably one of the worst things i think we could have gotten on there so it'll do that and then it'll flash a couple times over and you'll be able to just pick it up from your inventory i think you just go ahead and do that yeah and it pops right in your inventory right there but you also get oh okay so we also just got a diamond chest plate too with regeneration one and immunity three. Now I actually have on the side here a full little list of enchants. So immunity three actually gives no poison damage. So if we were to get poisoned for what reason, this actually wouldn't do anything. And regeneration obviously regenerates your health faster when not in combat. So the thing is, I just want to go ahead and say this out here for those that are kind of like hardcore players on this server. We added in a lot of custom enchants and new custom stuff, but it doesn't affect the core gameplay very far from vanilla. We don't aim to create a server, you know, like Cosmic or Treasure Wars that have this like whole new thing where it's not even really about PvP anymore. It's just like a bunch of cool stuff, which is awesome, by the way. Love both servers. They're both amazing. In fact, they're probably some of the best faction servers around, but we're kind of sticking a bit more toward vanilla. So that's kind of what we're aiming for. So we're going to go ahead and open up the rest of these crates. So like I I said you can get awesome stuff like a potion master charm increases new potion effect durations that's actually a really sweet one right there so we're gonna go ahead and uh let's just pick the middle one see what we can get from there so we're gonna get oh shockwave two diamond pickaxe okay very cool and what else are we gonna get from that we're gonna get five hoppers and a medic charm right click to give haste to factions member near you consumed on use usage keep in your inventory okay very cool so yeah now using shockwave will basically Okay, oh, so it digs it out in front of you as well. So this is like real a really good enchant for like destroying walls because look at how much of an area it already digs up for you. It's actually like insanity right there. Well, let's go ahead and bust through the rest of the crates here. Uh, what can we get from here? Hmm, it's like, ooh, shock absorber charm reduces fall damage. Okay, I would love that. Let's go ahead and just do like the middle one right here. Okay, so fire protection leggings. Let's actually throw out a bit of, uh, well, actually, we won't be able to throw out the cobblestone. These are the cool ones right here. I'm actually really stoked that we just got one of them. We have an afterlife charm now. Instantly respawns you when you die. Of course, consumed on use, but this is actually one of the major ones. If you take a look in the AH here, there should be a few of them. We have hoppers here for 35k. Where are, <laughs> love these trolls, man. Those don't actually exist. Where are the uh, afterlife ones? Are there any around here? Because the last time I hopped on, uh, which wasn't too long, long ago oh actually 
no afterlife charms are around right now. The last time I looked on, I actually saw these things going for about 75k in auction house. Let's actually try listing one for 60k. So we do AH sell 60,000. Hopefully that should be able to get us a pretty decent amount of money. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and then uh, get rid of the cobblestone that we've got in our inventory right here, as well as the andesite and stuff. And uh, we got some really like not useful leggings and all those things. Now, here's the thing I'll say too. Uh, oh, got some pants back. Oh. I got my pants back somehow. Oh, we also have a Protection 3 uh, Feather Fall in one book. That's actually pretty cool. Let's go uh, dump that back in there. Will that not... Is that hopping around in there? Wait. No. Okay. I thought for some reason... Uh, I thought those pants actually came back to me in my inventory. Uh, just to let you guys know, I'm not going to be like giving myself these uh, crates like every episode or whatever. We're going to try and figure out a very legitimate way for Nade and I to be able to obtain these. But the only reason I'm doing it right now is just to kind of like show you guys what we've got. And then that'll pretty much be it for like all the use that we've had. So let's go ahead and pick the white one over here. We're going to get... Oh, Famine 3 Experience 1, First Blow 1. So First Blow 1 is actually an enchant that'll deal more damage on the first hit that you give. Famine will give them hunger. Uh, I, I don't even need to tell you guys like the rest of it. You can go ahead and look down at the bottom. Now, these are the guys that you really want to go for. Spawn Creeper Eggs would be insanity to get, especially for raiding, which I'm sure Nate and I would love to do soon. All right, come on, let's go ahead and do this. We need to figure out, like, what's our lucky gonna be? Like, what's our lucky pain number? I'm thinking maybe, actually, we might not even be able to choose our lucky pain number. Let's just go with, like, the middle bottom. That'll be, <gasps> yes! Oh, man, that's insanity! Okay, that was actually a lot of money we just got from right there. Do we get anything else? I don't think we did. Okay, so we just got a spawn creeper egg. That's actually nuts. Okay, and our last chest we're gonna go ahead and run off from right here. What are we gonna get, baby? Ooh, we got a lot of good possibilities in here. You can also see the one thing that we did change is protection can now be put on different pieces of armor. So, like, for example, before you couldn't have protection and project that protection. Now you can have both. So it's kind of like, it's cool, but, you know, it doesn't really add all that much. And we'll do that one right there and ooh shock absorber charm okay so this thing right here we have two of them actually reduces fall damage to a minimum usage keep in inventory so we've got the thing right here so let's take for example if we were to jump from this height right here it doesn't actually do anything so your shock your shock absorber charm act activated and i guess just removed all stuff from there and it actually does look like we're not even able to throw away the pants can these things not burn i actually oh huh I don't think... Okay, I didn't actually know that you weren't allowed for your items to burn, but it seems like I literally can't throw these pants away. Interesting. Okay. Um, lava still damages you, but I guess I can't... Uh, I guess I can't get my uh, pants to go away then? Okay, that's fine. I guess I'll just leave it to despawn whenever it comes back to me. But yeah, that was pretty much all it is for updates. Let's go ahead and hop into the actual episode from here on out. Like I said before, I've been on and off a server while not recording, just kind of like going through sugarcane and breaking it all. And now that we've got this little expansion to our sugarcane farm, I tell you, like, my addiction for money is going to go through the freaking roof right now. I think Nade has about, like... 280k dollars and right now what am i sitting on at the moment i'm actually sitting on oh there you go 285k so about as a total pool we've got around five hundred thousand dollars to spend as a total faction which i'm not sure we'll want to do anytime soon we'll probably need a lot of money to actually you know be able to afford stuff but or to build a base rather i want to actually take a look here oh we got a sell hand i want to actually take a look in the ah is there anything in here when it comes to custom enchants that are a bit expensive that could be worth it to pick up we've got experience here that gives more experience when killing mobs demolition three sniper one not really the best hmm trying to look nobody's bought oh see zeke dropped down okay so i'm learning the uh the price of the afterlife charms out so this one's up for 50k mine's up for 60k i don't know whether or not that's just a rival mine but that's still a pretty good amount of money right there we got cooker one uh famine one not really all that great i wouldn't assume that too many people are going to be selling their items because they'll probably want to keep it for their own um, I don't know. Experience 3, Tainted Blade 1, Immunity... Oh, okay. This is a pretty big one right here. Juggernaut 3 is actually one of the scariest enchants in the game right now because Juggernaut's an enchant that gives extra health, but you also trade off with some other stuff. So I think it might give you slowness or something along those lines, but... That's a pretty mean chest plate, especially the Thorns 3. Holy damn. That thing's going to break fast, though, with the Thorns. 
I don't know, $100,000 might be worth it? I don't know. It'll take a little while for me to actually figure out the market and see what's worth it and what's not. This thing, first blow two and tainted blend. So tainted blend, chance of giving your opponent slowness. Okay, not bad. Sharp five axe. That's actually really good So I have a uh, larger axe skill right now. Hmm, is there anything? See, this is a Juggernaut 3... This is the same thing? Oh, it's basically the same chest plate for 100k. Okay, so there's two chest plates for 100k in there. Not bad. Um, what else do we have in here? I'm not noticing anything too crazy at the moment. We should be looking at the enchant books, though. Oh, yeah, the enchant books would actually be a good thing to take a look at. Like, right here, look at this book right here. First Blow, Famine, Tainted Blade, and Thor. Holy damn. And the fourth page, do we have anything in here? No, nothing on the armor. Any of the books? I don't think any of the books have any custom enchants either. Hmm. Like, we got some... Well, actually, oh, this is just a really good standard book right there. Hmm. Cooker 1. Not really worth it all that much. These nuts? I would buy that for sure. Sharpness 1. Project objection, Some name tags. Some sponges. Uh, and then we got over here. The first thing in the house is probably going to be gone soon for 25000 I'm not going to lie. I'm really tempted to buy the Juggernaut just to kind of see how it works. Like, did the other one have... Hold on, where is the first one? Does it have Immunity 3? Was it bought? Wait a minute. No, it's right here. Okay, so these are basically the same thing. I don't know, dude. Like, 100k. Our balance right now is sitting... We could buy this if we wanted to. You know what I think, honestly? I think I'm going to buy it. I don't know whether or not it's a good idea just quite yet, but... I'm going to roll my odds, and I'm just going to give it a shot, mainly because I just want to, I don't know, I want to dive into it. I'll spend a little bit of money. You know what? We did it. Okay. Item purchase. We now have a custom chest plate. Let's take off our immunity. We can actually, I don't think we can combine them. I need to check with that, but let's go ahead and pop it on right here. So now we have, so look at that right there. We have slowness too, but we have health boost four. So we now have freaking 18 hearts, not absorption or anything, so you still have to eat or whatever, but... 18 hearts for the offset of slowness 2, which I'm not gonna lie is I would say a pretty good trade. I don't know like it doesn't actually impact your uh, your clicking speed So that's actually really good. It's not mind fatigue. That would suck for PvP But if you got some speed pots, it might actually be a little worth it In fact, it's probably very like 18 hearts. That's actually really insane, dude I don't know like Honestly, you know what I think I might want to do? I might hit up Nade and tell him to pick up the other one on there. Because I still don't know if 100k is a good deal, but where is it? It's there. So is it on page 3? I think it's on page 3. Yeah, this is another one. I could buy that for Nade and give it to him as like a gift. I don't know. Because I don't know if he's going to buy his own thing, you know what I mean? He's still got his chest to open, so he might actually get a Juggernaut. Oh, who's this? Yeah, we got over here another Eternity guy, Badskin. What's going on, my good friend? This guy... He is one of the main beasts from here. We're going to have to drop in very, very soon to say hello to them for sure. But new sugarcane farm. I'm going to go ahead and harvest this up for a little bit here. And I'm just going to enjoy my new chest plate, man. I'm freaking sitting at 18 health. I love it. Take a look here. I'm actually so stoked right now. I might. Oh, come on. Wait for it. You got to wait for it. We are nearly at the end of this whole thing right now. I probably should take off this chest plate, but like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take off the chest plate for right now. Damn, that hurts, but I got the speed back, though. So if we actually go all the way to the end of this, I think... Oh, don't tell it to me. No, it still hasn't happened yet. Oh, man. Okay, guys, I'm nearly at 500 level herbalism right now. I want to get it before this ends right now. So I'm actually building up my economy. Let me see where I'm at. $197,000. So we still got... We've got a bit of a ways to go after that little... Uh, I guess, how? Sh what should I say? Dent in our entire freaking bank account after that large purchase we made. But I think it was worth it still. I want to get that 500 herbalism so it shows up in chat right now. Hold on. We're just going to go ahead and break all this stuff. Oh, come on. 499. We are so close right now. Give it to me. I want that... 500 herbalism so bad i've been doing this for so long honestly like it always debates me whether or not i should put some of the mcmmo skills that i get from uh what's it called like achievements or challenges or whatever into herbalism because you get double drops right but at the same time i feel like it's better to put it into like weaponry because that's stuff that's really hard to level up let's see here come on come on i'm gonna wait for it in the chat come on i want to see those ggs oh it's so close it's actually so close it's ridiculous Please tell me we have enough sure candy beat. We definitely do, for sure. Come on. Let's go around here. Oh, come on. It's so close to 500. Please. I want to see it. Where is it? And there we go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Right underneath squad capturing the castle. I don't even know what they're talking about, but GG right there, baby. 500 herbalism. 
that's a milestone for sure. That's like, welcome to the server. Now get comfortable. You're going to be on here for a while. So it doesn't really do anything. It's just another level, but it's a, it's a good little uh, on FCP. Yee! <laughs> I'm such a nub, honestly. 500 herbalism, pretty freaking sweet. Welcome back, guys. I have an uh, unfamiliar face on this channel in the last couple weeks. <laughs> Little Pete. unfamiliar, yeah. Like, well, where you been, man? Well, I think it's on. We both been kind of on hiatus on the Optic Craft server. I've just been, uh, honestly, dude. I, I don't even know. I've just been grinding up a sure cam, but not here. You know, <laughs> it's dude. been a while, man. Yeah, no, it's been an incredibly long time, man, and it's good to have you back here, especially with the new update that's launched and all of the custom abilities, the MCMMO. Yeah, I, I it's heard... a crazy world now, dude. You kind of already ran over here with your viewers, that whole thing, right? Yeah, no, of course. Mm. Everybody knows all about the custom enchants, the the new, uh, it, was it Divination? Is that Yeah, we got Divination now with the new MCMO. We got charms, enchants, crates, like that, the whole the whole will of bam dude. Christmas updates here, man. Yeah, man, those crates so far have already been pretty addicting, dude. Okay, like, you got to show me what you got from your crates now, because you opened, I think, 10, was it? Yeah, I, I did 10 altogether. I did five lucky and then I did five epic, right? Okay, yeah. So when it came down to it, I have, uh, I, I got a lot. I had, I think I got in total about 100,000 MC MMO credits. Ooh, okay. Which was insane, dude. Really helped me out. And Just 100,000? Uh, well, I, or no, no, a million. I'm sorry. I forgot to add oh, a Oh, jeez. I was going to be like, you can yeah, get that no, stuff no, from no, challenges. No, no, that ain't no, too no. exciting. Not a hundred thousand, dude. A million. I, I forgot one of the very crucial zero and a comma there. You know. Uh, make a <laughs> Tell it to difference. my bank, dude. You should freaking work for me. Oh my god, that'd be incredible. <laughs> you know, just add it on there real quick, right in the end. Um, but I <laughs> actually put it. I put it all towards my axes. Uh, so now I have like a level four hundred ninety nine on my axe, and it's dude, really I just. Yeah, I'm ready to get inside some uh, some battle, and then obviously we have all the shirt, uh, dude. Every time I come down here, it's just green, green, green. Just the sugar can. I just see money literally growing right in front of me. It makes me. Did so you happy. actually? Did you take a look at this over here? Like you saw this, right? Yeah, yeah. I showed this to everybody. Um, they are well aware of the awesome guys in Eternity, the, our our new homies. This thing is so huge, dude. I, this I know, profits dude. so much cash. And, and it happened like overnight. It, it was actually crazy because this this took me like a full day to do like on and off. Mm -hmm. and, then and they just I, come in and stomp on you, dude. Yeah, How does that just, even feel? Oh, well, it feels it feels great. It, it's so funny too because they're just like, screw it, bro. We don't need the diamonds either. We're just gonna leave them in the ceilings. <laughs> like, that's all in the that's ceilings all, that's how much money they got uh but yo tell me a little bit about what you have what did you oh, get okay 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 i got some good stuff so first off one of the things that i got i'm gonna go ahead and drop this for you right here this is a shock absorber charm i actually got two of these things basically put this item in your inventory and you have a very high percentage chance of avoiding any fall damage whatsoever so just really? like go jump off a cliff dude honestly like go just just jump off a cliff right now i find a cliff I, I just build build honestly i think like this works if you just kind of like give a little leap off here okay yeah just let give me, a little bit leap nice off there little jump see what happens here in the highest and just kind of run a little bit there you go oh yeah did it oh, drop yeah. for you oh it, it did activate and i did oh wow that's actually sick I didn't take any fall damage from that. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't know what the chances are yet. I would have to take a look at that, but it's pretty sick. Now, dude, I got this thing over here. I kind of mentioned this to Nate a little bit off camera, but he's well, yet I to see it yet. It. Yeah, I dipped out $100,000. I don't know, regrettably or not, but it was a pretty big purchase on the AH for this guy over here. Now, Nate, I have a question. Do you know what the Juggernaut Enchant does? So I saw the Juggernaut, and I, I, I tried to explain as many to them, but I, I would imagine from my experience on Call of Duty, the Juggernaut would give you more health. Pop this on for you right now, dude. Oh it, it's, okay. it, it's absolutely mental. Okay, okay, let me That's see. That's 100K on your back right now, now. Now listen, guys, before I put this on, Pete mentioned to me that he bought something on the auction house for $100,000, and I told him, don't tell me what it is. Let me find out in the video because I want to see no what idea. do. He has no idea, yeah. I want to see wow, your reaction on this. Dude, you <laughs> paid $100,000 for Immunity 2, Juggernaut 3, Protection 4, Unbreaking 3 and Thorns. Three. Eight extra hearts, dude. Yeah. Eight, you're... eight extra. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. 
The hearts are slowly coming in. Come over here, dude. Come over here. I want you to go ahead, like, take the best use of this golden apple you could ever have. Just eat that up right now. Just Look just how eat slow it up. I am, though. I know, I know. Eat that up right now. The, the thing is, like we mentioned before, is we don't want to make any of the enchants completely overpowered. We want them to have a little bit of drawbacks, depending on what you use. Because, I mean, like, right now, you know, Nade, he's oh, got freaking oh my God, dude. eight hearts. You have 78 health from what I'm looking at right now, dude. Bro. Yeah. Oh, no, there you go. You got 100 what? HP. Is it gonna go show up more? Oh no, actually, yo, how much, how many, uh, what does my heart show for me above my head 100. right now? It shows 100? Yeah. Dude, that's crazy because, okay, with this enchant, this is actually a little bit overpowered for uh, PvP, I didn't even realize, but because above your head, it doesn't show the amount of hearts you have, it only shows a percentage of your health, it only shows you as 100 health too, dude. So and when you had 10 no hearts, it's what I got on. And yeah, what I when it with. showed you at 10 hearts, it showed you with like 56% of your HP because you were that, you know, that's all you had. Dude, that people don't even know if you have that good. Oh, dude, that's overpowered. Bro, two health boost, four absorption, regeneration, resistance, fire. Oh my God, dude. Well, that's a golden apple for sure helping you out. Yeah, but no, 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 I know for sure. But like the combination between the two is just absolutely insane. It's like, just a matter of like, do you swap out the slowness in place of eight extra hearts? Because you got to consider it like this well, too. What happens if I sip on a swiftness potion? That could counter it, although I think it would make you like just run as evenly as you can. But a lot of people use swift potions in this, remember. The thing you gotta remember too, though, is you can't just pop that chest plate on like immediately later and just get eight extra hearts when you need it because that stuff takes time to regen, you know? Yeah, no, I, I, I was just thinking about that. There, I mean, there's gotta be pros and cons, like, there has to be sort of like a balance to it all. And if you were just to have this magic chest plate they put on, you get eight hearts instantly. That'd be so unfair, you know. I'm ready to go. Like there's, I am. There's got to be some sort of trigger that makes you wait, and and putting it on obviously is that trigger, and then waiting for the hearts to regenerate. Yeah, for so. sure, dude. Honestly, like I am so stoked to go PVPing with you soon. These guys I was talking to uh, from Eternity, they were like, "Yo, I want to pot you guys up so bad and bring you PVPing with us." And I'm like, "All right, all right." Yeah, bro, I mean, we'll I need a couple episodes, but. Because, you know, I honestly, like, since we started this series, and that's kind of what I was talking about earlier, is really haven't gotten any really good, like, factions action. Not to give you guys the corny rhyme there. The whole faction action. Dude, that's like, like all, our motto right all now. All we've been dealing with has been getting raided. And uh, we really haven't gotten to experience a lot of the fun things that people fall in love with when they play factions. So I'm excited to, you know, start on a new base. And, and Pete and I already have talked about that. And, and, and really, we didn't want this to be an episode where it, it's like, our first episode, if you guys remember, in this faction series was us finding a place to live and starting our base. We didn't yeah, want kind of an around. episode like a month and a half later to be the exact same thing as our first episode. And we didn't want to go backwards. So Pete and I just really want to show off like all the cool stuff we got, give you guys an update. And uh, here in just a little bit, we are going to work with Eternity and, and, and Pete and I are going to hopefully get a new place started. And, you know, like I said, we don't really want to show too much of that. Mm -hmm. uh, just because we want to keep the the base as secretive as possible and we don't want to bore you guys with the same thing we've been doing over and over and over again on this series so yeah many for times. sure we don't, we don't want you guys to basically watch the same recycled content we want every episode of factions for the most part to be different than the last so i think nate and i you mentioned it a little bit now we're probably going to come back next episode with a new base started after working with uh eternity Kind of like the same thing we had done before, you know, not taking handouts or anything. This whole, like, shuriken farm was kind of just a gift for us. Yeah. But uh, we'll probably come back next episode with the base and stuff like that. Pretty much getting back into it. But, dude, I'm just happy to, like, get back into the server. I I, I don't know, well, here, dude. I felt... Take your chest plate back. Don't get all corny on me. It's good to see you. No, I'm playing. It's no, good to it, see. It, no, no, no. It's, it's Wait, hold on a second. It's good to get back in the call and... And really get back on the grind and swing of all this Let's stuff. Let's actually figure this out. I've got a speed potion right now with the slowness. So this is how fast I run with let's speed see. two. With, so I think, is this like, here? hold here. on, wait a oh, minute. Let's race, let's race. Yeah, let's race. Okay, Three, you ready? Two, two one. one. Okay. Are we running like, I think you, yeah, okay. So basically, if you have speed two with the slowness two, that, that kind of makes sense. You know, like one, one, two, two, knockout punch right there. Yeah. Basically, you're running at the same speed as a default player. So... I guess it's actually pretty good, but not so much if you're going up against, like, you know, like, you know, pop PVPers, those kinds of guys. Yeah, I, it really, you just have to get them in an enclosed space, and, and hopefully uh, you, you could be, like, actually, you know what? That could be a pretty good meta, though, too. Like, you could throw on that, that chest plate and kind of be, like, a tank for all your friends, you know? Be you the front-running guy, yeah. yeah just go in know, there and kind of, die instantly. Kind of just bait them out and then, you know, bring in your strength pot. Yo, dude, in. imagine the uh, imagine this enchant right now with the afterlife charm. 
Oh my I actually God. don't even know if you get your armor back after the afterlife. I don't think you do. I think you just yeah. like respawn instantly so you can like get your gear back potentially. I'm not actually well, sure, let's, but let's not test that out. We don't want Pete dying. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that out at a different time. Maybe you and I could like leave the faction. We could have a little like 1v1 together or something. Yeah, I was thinking about that. We should definitely do that. <laughs> faction 1v1 battles. I'd be down. But yeah, dude, honestly, like it's good to see you, dude. Like, yeah, no, for sure, man. I, I It's been too long. We've been, you know, kind of putting this off for I, I know I was discouraged for a while, but it feels good to you know kind of just you know man get back up into and, things and, and get back in the swing of it and and just start back on this journey just because i i hate having to restart dude it's the worst feeling when you put a lot of time into something and then it just doesn't come to fruition and then you just have to you know it doesn't really again. feel all that but well but it's good it's to good, know man. when you yeah, got people really with good. you it's really really good i'm happy to see you man i'm, I'm excited for sure, for sure. So yeah, I think Nate and I are going to go ahead and catch you guys back another time. Then my speed putt just ran out and I went super slow. And I was like, wait, am I lagging or something? But <laughs> Nate and I are going to go ahead and catch you guys back for episode... What episode is going to be for you? I... Is episode 15 or 16? I'm... Maybe even like 17 think... or 18 for I don't me. think it's like that for me, but I'll find out real soon. <laughs> Somewhere up there. So Nate and I are going to catch you guys back probably within a day or two. Back in the series, going back bi-daily for me. And I think the same for Nate as well. Maybe a couple yep. daily episodes to kind of get back in the gear of things. We've been missing out for so work. long. We kind of owe you guys a little bit more. So next episode, we'll probably have like a base work in. We can get back into the actual faction grind and really like, I want to start working up on leveling up Divinity, dude, with the enchants and stuff. That's going to be a huge new meta for us. Like acquiring the new charms, yeah, getting enough I've money to purchase I gotta new learn stuff. More about Divinity, but for sure. I, I, I mean, I, if you think so, then definitely. I, I gotta, think so, I gotta dude. do a little bit of research, you know? Mm-hmm. So anyways, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and catch you guys back for that. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave some support. Sub the Nate. He's a beautiful man if you're not already. And, water. uh, yeah. I need water. Uh, no, for real. I've got, like, you in the back of my throat. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, guys. <laughs> There's, like, water right here, dude. Oh, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, we'll catch you guys later.